Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to do a challenge between two bags that I have bought in 2021. So these are the two bags. That's the Saint Laurent Baby Nikki bag and the Chanel 19 bag. I have bought this both this year in 2021. I have used them for a while. Let me give you some of my thoughts around these bags, how I feel about them. If you are considering any of these bags, there are a few sections that I will go through and I will let you know which one wins the point for each section. Towards the end, I will give you a final count of the points, see which one I think is more worth it. Without further ado, let's move on. Let me know if you have any comments in the comments down below, whether you like any of this bag or you think that there's another challenger for this bag. I believe one of the challenger is definitely the puffer from Saint Laurent. Let's talk about leather. This is lambskin. This is lambskin as well. They look pretty much different and feels a little different as well. I guess this is the puffer style, so you have the very squishy kind of feel altogether. This lambskin leather is nothing like the classic flat kind of leather. It seems to have a special coating to it. So, so far I have used it a few times. I've seen no scratch at all. I don't need to do any buffing to it at all. And it's still in very immaculate condition. Similarly for this bag, I don't see any scratches on it as well. No, no scratches. And it just feels very soft and luxurious here. It's very soft. Over here, it's very soft. Um, over here, it doesn't feel that soft because, I guess, because of all the lines here. So it breaks up the softness. So it's firmer in a sense. But on the inside, it's still lambskin. On the side here, it's lambskin without the stitching. It's very soft, very luxurious. This feels like a very durable kind of lambskin and so does this. Between these two, which one do I feel that it's better? I think it's a very tough fight. For this round, I'll rank this as the winner. Why? Because of the coating. I guess the coating is going to help a lot in the overall maintenance on the long-term maintenance of this bag. The only downside of this bag is um, this is with a back liner, with an organizer. Without it, it's going to be extremely slouchy. I don't know eventually how it will slouch and hold up, but so far, I think I like this a lot more due to the puffy kind of feel. It will be on the dimensions. I will show you side by side how they look like against each other. That's the side. And of course, that's the back. On the dimension side, Chanel 19 is slightly taller. And in lengthwise as well, the Chanel 19 is slightly longer. On the side view, the baby Nikki bag is broader. So slightly as well. I will skip the actual dimension since this is a comparison video. If you like to know the actual dimensions, you can go to my 3 months review of these individual bags. In it, I have did the measurements and you will know the actual dimensions between these two bags here. For these two bags, I love the sizes. It's not too tiny and it's not too overly big as well. So for these two bags, I can fit in all my daily essentials without downsizing. I don't need to separately pull out a card holder in order to fit in but of course if I need to fit more things I will use a cup holder instead since actually my phone can do a lot more transactions these days so that I can bring some of the stuff that I feel like for the day. These two bags are not meant to be evening bags but due to their chains, you can see the chain and this chain style here they can go easily from day to night. This can go from day to night. This can go from day to night too. 
It's not an evening clutch kind of style, but both of them can go from day to night. Very effortlessly. In terms of weight, let me show you. Okay, so I have emptied up the bag. And first one will be this Saint Laurent baby Nikki bag. And the baby Nikki bag is 556 grams. So next stop, I have my Chanel 19 bag. I have tucked all the chains inside the bag. And let's see, here goes. 773 grams. So you can tell there's quite a bit of difference in terms of the weight. I know a lot of people don't feel that 773 grams is heavy because a lot of um, luxury bags are of this kind of weight. To me, it's rather heavy. I have used the Balenciaga Velo bag. It's very light and it fits a ton. For this one, I really find it quite heavy. It's an empty bag and it's already 773 grams. When I put in more things, I did in my 3 months review, I realized that I'm carrying a brick and it's so heavy that the, the strap doesn't help that much. On the other hand, this one is so light and it's so spacious as well. I really love how um, lightweight this is and I can carry more things, bulkier things, heavier things as well. So let me just show you what I can fit in both of these bags. So the first bag that I will show you, it's the Chanel 19. There's a bag liner in here. I have my wallet here with me. I have a large phone, which I will place it at the back right here. I have a tissue. I have a um, power bank. I have a bunch of keys, which I will just throw it in the pocket. And then I have a bottle of sand, hand sanitizer. It's rather heavy now, and that is really all that I would want to wear if I am going out for the whole day. So let me pull and put them over and show you if all of this fits inside here. Of course it does. <laughs> First, it will be the handphone. On the handphone, I prefer not to put it at the back because it doesn't really fit that easily. It fits but it doesn't fit that easily. I have to do a little bit of Tetris in order to fit in, so I will put it here. And next, I will put my wallet, power bank, tissue, hand sanitizer, and a bunch of keys. Although, the baby Nikki bag looks smaller, it fits everything inside as well. So, in capacity wise, as a daily bag, I don't see a lot of difference between these two. Although, the Chanel 19 looks seemingly bigger, the capacity wise, they're similar. But once I hold all this in the Chanel 19 bag, it's so heavy, my shoulder hurts. So if I'm using Chanel 19 for the day, I try to pack really light. Which is a little bit different from what I expected to use it for. Because I thought I would use it as a workhorse. I can carry everything that I need on a daily basis, but I think workhorse-wise, this is a better choice. So for this section here, the dimension and the sizes and the weight, I give it to the baby Nikki because baby Nikki it's so much lighter and fits the same. Let's talk about the straps. The Chanel 19 has a short handle here for you to hang carry. I do think that this is pretty handy. You can just grab and go anytime. It comes with a longer strap. For this strap here, I, I, I find it a little bit long when I just carry on the side. But it's okay if when I do a crossbody, so this has some versatility in terms of the strap. There are different types of uh, metals. There's, it's a mixed metal. So it gives a little bit of shake kind of feel all over. Because there's leather intertwined, so it doesn't make a lot of noise when it 
knock on each other. So that is the Chanel 19 for the baby Nikki bag. To be honest, it's not noisy as well. The two leather strap here makes it a, a lot more comfortable to wear, which I like it very much. And the gold hardware makes it look very luxurious, very chic as well. It's very chic. For this strap, I like to carry it like this, double strap. And I find single strap really too long for my liking. I know I can do some packing to it, shorten it so that it's not so long. It can do as a shoulder carry, I guess, once I do a hack to it. But other than that, I find it a little bit hard to cross body, although I find this size very good for cross body, but it's too long to cross for me. I'm already 5 foot 7, 169 cm. I find it a little bit too long for me to cross body. I don't know how it's going to work for other people. So in terms of strap wise, I find this more functional because both straps has its own function. Whereas for this one, it's really one way of carrying it. I don't see any other ways to carry it. And the crook on my arm is too long, um, crossbody is too long, it's just double strap. So strap wise, Chanel 19 wins. The comfort level of wearing this, because of the weight of this, and this doesn't help to distribute the weight very well. I find this less comfortable to wear. I try to use the back liner organizer in it. It's a little bit stiff in my opinion to cross body. Whereas for this one, the weight distribution is very good because it's always uh, two straps on the shoulder. It's very light on its own as well. So it's very, very comfortable to wear. I like this height here. It's right here. It's very easy for access. So on comfort wise, I really give it to Baby Nikki. It's really much more comfortable to wear this. Baby Nikki wins! Last comparison point is the price. <laughs> I think it's not a very good comparison because it's Chanel. This is Saint Laurent. But really, price wise, I can actually get this plus maybe a puffer bag, Saint Laurent puffer bag, and they still cost less than this. I, I don't know why I get a Chanel 19. Because it's Chanel. Why did I get a Chanel 19? Because it's Chanel. It's really hard to beat the whole I want a Chanel kind of rationale. I love this. This is my first Chanel bag. The very practical side of me tells me that I should have gotten this. Plus a puffer bag. I got two bags and it costs less than the Chanel 19. So what's there to fight? Price wise, baby Nikki wins. I'm not going to do a mod shot because I have done uh, some mod shots in both of my 3 months review of these two bags. But here I am to give you final thoughts of these two bags. It's the Baby Nikki bag versus the Chanel 19 bag. The Chanel 19 bag is my first Chanel bag. <laughs> okay, I don't know how many times I've said this. It's my first Chanel bag. I really love it. I have wanted a Chanel for a long, long time. But the price always put me off. But I decided to splurge on it this time. I still love it. I still love it very much. Whereas, the Baby Nikki bag is not an exact competitor against the Chanel 19 bag. I guess a better competitor against Chanel 19 should be the Saint Laurent Puffer bag. But the capacity wise is similar and it's also lambskin. The practical side of me is telling me that I shouldn't buy two bags that are really very similar. So I cannot get, be getting the Chanel 19 plus the Puffer bag. To be honest, between these two, which one will I reach out for? is this one. I regretted a little for getting this color. I think I will get more use out of it if I got it in black. But nonetheless, it's a very light bag and it's a pop of color. I love it very much. I really will use this a lot.
out of the six practical points that I have after using these two bags, the baby Nikki has four points, while the Chanel 19 has three points. Really. I would have reached out for it more, even more, if it's in black. I regretted a little bit for choosing red because I thought the pop of colour is great. But if I got it in black, I would have used it even more. Which gives this little lady here a little bit more chance when I needed something in black or dark grey kind of colour. I, I won't reach for this. This will come into the picture. So, actually I love them both and they have different occasions that I will use them for. I guess this is mindful shopping, getting things that they are not really duplicate of each other. So when I needed an occasion to wear a dark grey or black bag, this is what comes into the picture for this. When I need a red bag, this comes into the picture or when I need a lighter bag for the day. This works very well with jeans as well and I love this. I hope this video gives you some idea between these two bags. I believe the Saint Laurent Puffer bag has similar advantage compared to the Chanel 19 bag. So the choice is yours. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Do give me a like if you enjoy my content today and see you next week. Bye.